State representatives today updated the Athens limestone community about legislative bills that recently passed during the session. That discussion also included plans for the next session. News 19's Deidre Briscoe has more. The 2023 legislative session came to a close June 6. Now representatives discuss success and plans for the next session. From the fentanyl bill that affects the state to changes in the Limestone County prison to broadband to education and SROs, lawmakers went through every major piece of legislation passed this year. Now they are gearing up for the session to come by tackling other major issues like changes that might affect family owned pharmacies, lottery, and for Representative Crawford, school choice. We got to make sure that we are fair to all and do not destroy our public school systems by doing something uh, for private school. In pharmacies right now, the Medicare DIR fees result in payers claiming they are taking back fees from Medicare prescriptions due to a pharmacy's performance on alleged quality measures. Provisions affecting DIR fees will take effect January 2024. It's supposed to help improve transparency of the fees and potentially set the stage for further reform. Some lawmakers plan to stand by family-owned facilities. We need to make sure that pharmacists are being paid for their products. They're not being paid under cost. They're not being asked to work under their cost because a lot of these small towns pharmacies, small town pharmacies are the pharmacies that support that community. And as for the lottery, lawmakers say Alabama must get an understanding of gaming and let the people finally vote on it. Hopefully we will be able to come out with a game, a gaming legislation at the beginning of session uh, that will be palatable to people for the vote on. The Alabama legislature will convene its regular annual session on the first Tuesday in March. Reporting in Athens, Deidre Briscoe, News 19.